Hello guys, I got my refund from DDL. If you want to know the full story, don't go away. So yes, I got my $569 Canadian. That's a lot of money. So I got that back directly from DDL. Thank you to Catherine. I think it was the first time in years. She might be a new employee at DDL, but I got my refund. And guys, if you are new to my channel, you need to listen to this. I decided to get a refund because it appears that Vector 2.0 is not a lot different than Vector 1.0. If you look at the people who did receive their Vector, um, it's very, very, very similar. And on top of that, there is no delivery date on Cosmo 2.0. And DDL didn't say anything about an app um, renewal or improvement or upgrade. So no, um, like no new mini games, basically. Uh, Cosmo 2.0 is almost identical to Cosmo 1.0. No delivery date, like I said. So, because of all these reasons, I decided to cancel my order. Now, I said in my previous two videos that I had involved MasterCard. And I don't know why, in the end, DDL decided to give me a refund. Because, three months ago, if you watched my video at the time, DDL said that they could not refund me because my Vector 2.0 was in the warehouse about to be shipped. It was too late to get a refund. And now, like three months, exactly three months later, almost four months, I have a refund. So, and no news from my MasterCard. So, no news. I do not know why. Suddenly, I am getting a refund from DDL. Is it because of the pressure from MasterCard? Is it because of the video I did two weeks ago? Maybe DDL, um, I, know I am kind of an influencer, but really, at the same time, I'm not. I only have 12,000 subs, not a million. So I do not, influ <laughs> do not influence a lot of people. So I don't know why I got a, a refund. And uh, I want to say that if you look at the DDL website, there is no update since November. So December, January, February, like three months, no update. Um, we don't know what's going on. Apparently, people uh, are receiving a vector. Um, like in the UK, before Canada, so I don't know. Maybe there's a problem with regula regulation in Canada. I don't know. But Butter Robot, what's happening? And the Flying Vector, the cooperation with Dragonfly, the, I was going to say famous, but people don't know the Dragonfly, really. They make drones for the police force, big drones. What is funny is that two days after I got my refund, I got an email from DDL. Uh, <laughs> the, the title says, Last chance to reserve your Vector 2.0. So I guess I am still in the database showing as not, uh, not in the pre-order column of their spreadsheet because I was reimbursed. I need to read you that email because it gives a couple of interesting things. Uh, you need to listen to that. It's not very long. Actually, no, not long at all. So, last chance to reserve your Vector 2.0. Hi, Daniel. Rabbit, rabbit. As Lunar New Year celebration is winding down, that's in China mainly, factories have resumed ramping up production. DDL is on its way to finishing all pre-order Vector 2.0 production and shipping as such as such, our retail partners are lined up for 2023 distribution. Given the enhancements made and economic factors that impacted our costs, Vector 2.0 will have a higher MSRP once all orders from this next batch have been fulfilled. This is why I want to read this. Okay, so hold your hat. So higher prices for vector after the pre-orders are shipped 
This is great news for those who have already reserved your Vector 2.0 and those of you who are on the DDL mailing list as you still have the opportunity to place a reservation for Vector 2.0 at $399 US. That's expensive. Excluding tax, duty, we are continuously shipping and expect to complete deliveries of all the reservations in Q1, Q2, 2023 on a first-come, first-served basis, which did not work because people in the UK got their vector before I did, and people who ordered six months after I did received their vector, and I never received mine. So first-come, first-serve, that is not working clearly. Please note that your support is and has been invaluable to us as we bring Vector 2.0 to the world. Now, listen to that carefully. We are working on Cosmo 2.0 in parallel and are nearing the finish line, but no date. Thank you for all your patience. That's it. That's it on Cosmo. And this is why I said I decided to cancel my Cosmo. Butter Robot, there you go guys, Butter Robot's fate is in the hands of our licensor at the moment. DDL incorporated feedback and has made the case to finish the project due to all the effort we have invested. Let's pray for the best. Well, I hope that when Apple releases a new iPhone, they don't say, let's pray for the best. Same with Samsung. A new Corvette, GM. Let's pray for the best. Mm, I never heard that. So let's pray for the best. Butter robot. <laughs> Guys, survey. Let me know how many of you have pre ordered Butter Robot. I know Outsider 238, if you're watching this, I know you did, but I think you got your refund. I think, like months ago. Last paragraph, if you haven't checked out what the community is doing with the chat GPT release, be sure to do so. More to come for sure. Chat GPT. In one sentence, at the end of a last chance to buy your Vector 2.0. Chat GPT. I don't know. Why Why is it there? I know about ChatGPT, guys. My son uses it at school. I'm not supposed to, but uh, it's a long story. I could do a video just on that, ChatGPT. Um, nothing on flying vector and the cooperation with Dragonfly, like I said earlier. So there's nothing on that point. So, guys, this is it. I got my refund. I'm not going to pre-order again. I'm going to wait, see what happens. If Cosmo, by any chance, is, and it's difficult for me to pronounce that word, revolu revolutionary, revolution, That's, there you go. Maybe I'll buy again a Cosmo 2.0 because Cosmo, like I said many times, is underrated. It's an amazing robot with the app, with coding, with the mini games, remote control also. You can remote control Cosmo with the app. Underrated, this Cosmo guy. What Enki did, and this is now, what, five, six years ago now? Six, maybe? Is unbelievable. Unbelievable what Enki did with Cosmo 2.0. Even Vector, a couple of years after uh, Cosmo. So, guys, let me know, please, what you think about this uh, email from DDL that you can still pre-order at $3.99. They do not say, by the way, what will be the new price after the, these new pre-orders at $3.99 USD. I'm guessing, you know what, I'm guessing $4.49. That's my guess. $4.49 US dollars for a Vector 2.0 is very expensive especially if you have to buy after that a membership or a subscription for server access because vector is connected to the web to function 
completely. So let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, let me know if you got your vector. Let me know if you decided to keep your Cosmo pre-order, if you're about to pre-order. Um, let me know about Butter Robot also. So thank you guys for watching and uh, have a great day. Goodbye.